In this video, we are going to be looking at inverse, and in order to find inverse, we need to get to know some other aspect of matrix that are very, very important to get the in uh, inverse. Now, if you look at the question we have here, you have to find minor four factor adjoint that we can go for the inverse. So, if you want to find inverse, definitely you must have the knowledge of adjoint, knowledge of cofactor and the minor. Now, how can we find the minor? If you want to find the minor, it's just very simple. What you just have to do is to delete the row and the column constant, the remaining elements you have in the matrix, that is your that is your minor. Now, let's quickly find the minor of this one now. So, to find the minor now, to find the minor, so we just have to do here quickly now. So, we delete the first row, first column. If you delete the first row, first column, we have it 1, 8, 6, 7. So, we have it 1, 8, 6, 7. So, we go again, maintain the first row again, delete the first row. Now, second column now, we have it 3, 8, 9, 7. 3, 8, 9, 7. Go to the first row again, delete the first row and then the, the third column. We do that, we have 3, 1, 9, 6. 3, 1, 9, 6. Now, we go to the second row now. We delete the second row, delete the second row, and the first column. Delete the second row, second row is not there. First column now. We now be having 2, 5, 6, 7. 2, 5, 6, 7. Now, still maintaining the deletion of the second row. Delete the second row, now second column. Second row is not there, second column is not there. We be having 4, 5, 9, 7. 4, 5, 9, 7. Nine, seven. Now let's go to. We are still maintaining the deletion of second row. Second row now deleted. The third column we have it four two nine six. Four two nine six. Quickly now let's go to the third row. Delete the third row. Then first column we have it two five one eight. Two two five two five. Third row. Am I right? Delete the third row. First column two five one eight. 2518. 2518. Then, having done this now, third row again, second column. Third row is not the second column. We have 4538. 4538. I said third row, second column. Second column is not there. 4538. Then, third row, third column. Third row is not there. Third column. We have 4231. 4231. Now, having done this now, we are looking for the minor. So to simplify our minor now, what we just have to do is we find the subdeterminant of all of this now. We only want to find the subdeterminant. We take the major diagonal minus the minor diagonal. Major diagonal is 1 times 7. So if you say 1 times 7 is going to give you 7. Let me work it here. 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Minus the minor diagonal, which is 6 times 8, which is going to give me 48. So if I open the bracket now, we have 7 minus times plus minus. Minus 48. I'll be having 7 minus 14 is going to give us minus 41. So this place, minus 41. First determinant here. Then I go from this again. The same method I apply, find the subdeterminant here. 3 times 7, 21. 21. 21 minus 9 times 8, 50. 9 times 8, 72. 72, 72. So I'll be having 21 minus 72. So I'll be having minus 51. So this place will be minus 51. If I use the same method for the determinant of this one, I'll be having 9. If you've done determinant of 3 by 3 in our previous video, please go and watch if you don't understand it yet. Now, the same thing we do for this particular second row here. Second row will now be 2 times 7, 14. 14 minus 6 times 5. <coughs> 2 times 7, 14. Minus 6 times 5, 30, 30, then this will give us, uh, this will give us 2 times 7, 14, 2 times 7, 14, yes, 14, this is going to be 14, minus 30, minus that is going to give us uh, minus 16, this is going to give us minus 16, minus, am I right, 2 times 7, we are dealing with this, First row, first column, the second column, first row, 2, 5, 6, 7. 2, 5, 6, 2 times 7, 14. Then 6 times 5, 30. Minus times plus minus, minus 16. So we will be having minus 16. If you do the same thing for this, we will be having a minus 17. We are having 6. We will be having for this. We find the determinant of this one again very well. We are having 11. We are having 11. Then for this one, we will be having. 17 for this one you'll be having minus 2. 
Then having done this now, then the next thing for you is our minor. So the next thing for you is to find your cofactor. And if you want to find your cofactor, that one is just very simple. In finding your cofactor, you need to understand that this is the first row, first row here. And your first row, we have plus, after plus, minus, after minus, plus, after plus, minus, you start the minus here, after minus, plus, after plus, minus, after minus here, after minus here, it's going to be plus, after plus, minus, after minus, plus. Then you multiply all these signs by the value there. So whatever you get, that is your cofactor. It's as simple as that. Why am I'm, I'm, I'm just sim being simplified here? I'm, I'm just trying to put it in a way that you can easily understand. There is reason for this plus and minus. Because normally by the rule of cofactor, if you are finding a cofactor, the first element here, which is plus, is gotten by saying that our this is the first row, first column. The for, for the this is the element for the this is the determinant for the first row, first don't forget. First row, first column. This is the determinant, the subdeterminant for this. And the subdeterminant will be minus 1 raised to the power 2 times whatever the value is. Whatever the value is. So it's minus, min, uh, let, let me just give you this now. You know, normally this will give you minus 1 times minus 1. It's going to be 1. So it's going to be 1, 1 here, multiplied by whatever our answer here is. Which is going to be plus 1 times minus 41 is going to give us minus 41. But for this, why is it minus? It's minus because the by the rule, because this is raised to power 2, this will be minus 1 raised to power 3. Then this one will be minus 1 raised to power 4. Then the following one here will be minus 1 according to the rule, minus raised to power 5. If I, if I expand this now, we will have it minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. At the end, I will be having minus 1. If I do this one, at the end, I will be having 1. If I do this one, I will be having minus 1. So it means that this one is plus. The sign of this one is plus. The sign of this one is minus. The sign of this one is plus. The sign of this one is minus. Definitely, if I do minus 1 is to our 6, it's going to give me plus. Like that. That's how we got this. So when you add this to your minor, you're going to get your cofactor. So your cofactor, <coughs> excuse me, please. Your cofactor is not going to be for your cofactor. This is the plus times minus. This is the minus 41. Then minus times minus. That will be plus. I don't need to write the plus, you know. 51. The plus times this will give you 9. Then minus times minus. This will give you 16. Then but again. Plus times minus here is this will give you minus 17. Minus times plus will give you minus 6. Plus times plus will give you 11. Minus times plus will give you minus 17. Plus minus here will give you minus 2. Minus 2. Then this is my cofactor. This is my cofactor. Now, having gotten the cofactor because of the space, let me just put it here. Having gotten the cofactor, I want to get my adjoints. If I want to get the adjoint, I just have to do my adjoints. Yeah, my adjoints here, <coughs> my adjoints, then it's going to be, you know, if you want to find the adjoints, well, it's very simple, please. What you just have to do is you change the row to color. Now, this is the row now. You don't change it to color. Just change it to color. This is the row. Then I'll write it. I want to change it to color now. I'll be happy minus 41. Then I'll be having 15. I'll be 51, sorry. I'll be having 9. For the second row, I change the second row to second column. Second row to column will be 16, will be minus 17, will be minus 6. I change this one also to column. I'll be having 11, I'll be having minus 17, I'll be having minus 2. Minus 2. What is my adjunct? That's my adjunct. Please, I will need to rub up this. I will need to rub up this. That's my adjunct. That's my adjunct. So I want to get my inverse now. If you want to get your inverse, this is the formula for inverse, which is going to be 1 over, this is 0 to the minus 1 over, that is our determinant now. So we need to get our determinant as it is now, So which is going to be multiplied by the A, sorry, by the adjunct, by the adjunct. So it means that we need to find determinants. Now, these are our determinants here. If you find this very well, you find determinants of this very well, you're going to be having your determinant. You know, we've, sub, we've done videos on how to find the terminal of 2 by 2, 3 by 3, even 4 by 4. Please, 
can simply go back and check our video on that. Now our determinant is going to be uh, minus 17. Now if we want to get the agents now, so we just have our one, this one here, over then this determinant which is minus 17 times the agent. Our agent is here, it's going to be minus 41, 16, 11, 51, minus 17, minus 17. Minus 17. Then this is 9 minus 6 minus 2. I cannot be this off now. So because we have the final line. Okay? Now, so our inverse now equals 1, you know, minus is here. Minus times minus is going to be plus. Plus. The numerator must multiply the whole number, which is 41. We are using this fraction to multiply this. So this is going to be the minus that this carries times this minus will give you plus. So the minus will go away, you have plus. Then 41 times 1 will give you 41, 41, 41 over 17. Then for this, minus here times plus here minus, minus, the 1 times 16, 16 over 17. Then minus here times, let me put it here so that you know that, that it's minus here, minus, minus times plus here is going to give us minus, right? Minus 1 times 11, 11 over 17, over 17. Then we come to this second rule. Minus times plus here, minus 51 over 9. Minus times minus plus, 1 times 17, 17 over 17. Then minus times minus plus, 1 times 17, 17 over 17. So, this is interesting. This is interesting. Then what again do we do? Then the third rule, one th minus times minus plus, 1 times 9, 9 over 17. Then minus times minus here plus 1 times 6, 6 over 17. Minus times minus here plus 1 times 2, 2 over 17. That's your, that's your thing. But please subscribe and get more of our lovely videos. Thank you.